Good morning, everybody. Here you have the moon crescent. And actually the morning star is still visible. Let me see if you can see it. I think you can see it. It's in the very center of the screen. You can see the morning star. Not for too long more as the sun gets closer to rising. But right now there you have the moon crescent, the waning moon and the morning star. And then we're just north of Tiberias south of Magdala, right at the foot of the southern cliffs of Mount Arbel. Pretty sheer rock face with the famous Instagram post last Sunday morning after we climbed across Mount Arbel for the Facebook sunrise stroll and chat on the Instagram walk we ended up here. It was an hour long <laughs> experience an unusual type of deal. Today we had a beautiful Instagram dawn. Really, really beautiful. Extraordinary colors. So you can actually see Mount Hermon from here. Let me show you. Look, right there behind the Mount of Beatitudes. And right underneath it, in our direct line, you see we have these little bushes right in front of us here. And in the opening to the, in the center of the screen, right in that opening is the Mount of Beatitudes. You can actually see the chapel there, the little white spot in the grove of trees. And then you have Mount Hermon towering there behind the Mount of Beatitudes. So that's a pretty sizable mountain, Mount Hermon. The border between Syria, Lebanon and Israel. Lebanon is in terrible trouble and also Syria. We need to pray for them, for their people. Think of all the, the families suffering there. Great need. Great disintegration of society. Look here. We are meant to flower. And our societies are meant to flower in all beauty. And so much destruction reigns and so many are hurt. These grass reeds are, are like a, a tree almost, right? compared to the trees over here, but they're just grass. These reeds at the water edge. You can hear the water, I imagine. I'm not going down there because I don't have the foot gear for it. And it's about a drop of, yeah, eight feet, 10 feet, eight, six, eight feet. And I don't see a way to get down easily, so we'll leave it like that for now. We're still a bit ahead of the sunrise. I decided to come down here walking. Instead of doing my swim before, I'll do it after. You might notice it's a little wobblier today because I'm just carrying the small handheld tripod, like a selfie stick. And so it's I have it closed down, but it's still not as stable as the tripod, the regular tripod. So I hope you don't mind. Look who's here. There are the mountains of Lebanon, the overlooking Lebanon, in front of us. The 
This is a big water carrier. So let's let's uh, talk about the readings. The readings are pretty strong today, people. We'll need the sunrise after them to <laughs> to deal with them. We have Paul's letter to the Galatians. There are also strong words in the gospel, and the psalm is is very beautiful. We came out here in the dark this morning, and. When the dawn started, it was still quite dark. There was a lot of detail you couldn't absolutely see. Basically, the only thing you could see was the beautiful light along the ridge of the Golan. Over there, where you see more light now as well. But it was much more intense, obviously, over there. But here, it was all very dark. You couldn't see the color of the leaves. Definitely not on the camera. So then our reading is is very beautiful. Uh, very beautiful, very challenging. Uh, I was looking at the psalm there, which is very beautiful. So Paul is doing, like he's getting close to the end of the letter and he's moving on and he's um, yes, wrapping up a lot of themes here for the good Galatians. You know, the Galatians are, are probably Celtic people. Some people say that we related the Irish and the Galatians. And one of the proofs is that Paul said to them that they were stubborn, hard-headed. And then the Gallegos in Spain, Galicia, Galatians. And then it's the same people that's in Wales. And that's called Gales in Spanish. Here we got some other little flowers. Like the Spanish don't say whiskey, they say whiskey. <laughs> so the W and the G uh, in, in the English G and the W for the, they're very close actually in their phonetically. I just know that by hearsay from the professors, I'm no expert on these things, but it's interesting to see how our sounds are so related and connected and close together. Lots of little flowers here. Oh, there are big bees here, big bumblebees. Having a wonderful time. They weren't planning to be on camera, so they took off. Well, Paul is very strong. He says, brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now we have to understand this uh, in the whole context here. Text out of context is misunderstood. So let's continue reading for the context. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. And this is a tough list, people. So tie your safety belt. The works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, Sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, where does fury end up? It's very hard that it doesn't end up in violence. And the violence can go from verbal and emotional to physical and lethal. I saw a line the other day which says it takes years to build a solid friendship. And words can bring it to ruin in seconds.
There's a lot of other things in life as well that take a long time to build. Trees can take hundreds of years to grow. Or eight years or hundred years is not uncommon. <laughs> and with a chainsaw we can take it down in five minutes or less. How long it takes to build the Twin Towers in Manhattan and how fast they came down. Outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions. Imagine our time today is so burdened by factions. In so many countries, so many tensions between groups of the population when we're called to be a family, ethnic family, national family, international family. So many factions inside the families as well. Factions, occasions of envy. Drinking bouts, wow, listen to that one, drinking bouts. And we thought that was just fun, but it's actually work of the flesh. Someday I'll have to share with you my stories about working with college kids on the issue of drinking. Amazing. Drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. Wow, orgies. You know, I thought those were pagan times. You know, way back in the Bacchus and the Greeks and all the rest of it. And then recently, a, a year or two ago, there were some articles in the newspaper about some of the highest political functionaries in one of the most civilized, supposedly, parts of the world. And they were declaring in these conversations that it was a cultural experience to be at an orgy. Give me a break. These are so destructive of the human being. The key issue in all of these things is the destruction of the dignity of the human being. An ignorance of the dignity of the human being. The damage that's done to the person themselves doing these things and the damage done to others. All of them. Every single one of them. Somebody went home on their boat and forgot their trailer. It's going to go in over this little wall here, so it might be a little uh, Oops, sorry about that people. You ha hope you're okay. Ooh, there are our friends again. So a pretty serious conversation we're in this morning, people. Just following the letter to the Galatians. And we have that big list, I don't need to repeat it. And then the next line is, I warn you as I warned you before that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. And that's very strong language. And our message is called Good News. And that's what we try to do every day, encouragement. But you know, when you got cancer, the doctor doesn't say, hey, would you like an ice cream? Everything is hunky-dory. He starts saying, we have to have a serious conversation. We need to sit down. We need to see how we're going to handle this monster. And there are different possibilities, how we're going to go about it. It's not going to be easy. Get ready, brace yourself. You know, this is a big challenge. So Paul is basically doing the same thing. He's saying, if you're doing these destructive things, 
then I warn you that such as that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, there's always forgiveness available. Sotra has spied an animal that he wants to to get to with the odd. Oh, it's a cat, and the cat's up here. So, Sotra will go crazy now for the next half an hour until he she loses her patience and leaves the cat alone. You want to see the cat? Let's go back here. I hope we don't make the cat nervous because I don't want the cat to fall down to silver. You see the little cat's up here. There's a little cat. No, 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 Sotar. So the cat's right up there. Sotar? 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 Go! Sotar goes crazy about cats, doesn't have a good ability to relate to cats. Sotar? No! 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 This is the camping park just south of Magdala, south of the Franciscan piece of Magdala. Okay, so we had an incredible list there and the consequences. And now there's another turn to the whole thing. Now the sun starts to rise. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. What a different scenario. Oh, there's the sunrise. Just such good timing with these beautiful virtues and behaviors and ways to live. There's a lone bird out there on the buoy. Now here's a list we want to repeat. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And there's an incredible comment, I don't know how to describe it, uh, right after that, Paul says, Against such there is no law. Of course not. Just pure encouragement to do it. Just pure encouragement to do it. That bee came in just at the right moment. We didn't stage it, it wasn't pre-planned.
Let's go to the psalm. Psalm 1, the very first psalm. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. Blessed those who follow not the counsel of the wicked, nor walk in the way of sinners, nor sit in the company of the insolent, but delight in the law of the Lord. So we had two lists there, which is very interesting because we have another context where Jesus is sitting with the sinners, with Matthew, because God is coming to call the sinners. So it's not a condemnation of the person, it's a condemnation of the activities and the attitudes. And so we have Psalm 1, which tells us we shouldn't hang out doing the bad things with the sinners. But it's a very different thing when you show up at a party with the sinners to bring them some testimony of life. Gently, maybe without words, maybe even silence in front of certain jokes that are not really level, they're not really up to par from different aspects. And even silence can bring a lot of light. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. He is like a tree Planted near running water. That yields its fruit in due season. Whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. The way of the wicked vanishes. Maybe for a time we're very impressed that the wicked triumph. but only for a time, and it vanishes quickly. Imagine the havoc that Alexander the Great caused and died at 33 years of age, and he had conquered so many peoples. And one of the results of this was that the Persians came back here and destroyed all of the, the um, culture here, all the churches, in the year 614, 900 years later, an act of revenge. The way of the wicked disappears. It leaves a track in history, but the, the way of the wicked vanishes. There's a triumph of goodness. We need to remember this in, in times of difficulty, times of challenge. There's a triumph of goodness. And we can be part of that in the kindness, the tenderness, the gentleness, in that respect for the human person. And that wonder at the gift of life in every age, no matter what are the talents or the lack of them. Look at that little berry, it looks like a big apple there, right? But look at my finger. So it's very small. Lots of them here in the ground. So people, it's been a lovely morning walking with you here. Enjoy this sunrise. All these flowers here in the light. May you blossom in the light and bear lots of fruit.
thank you for joining thank you for spreading the word uh, the little changes in schedule if you want to be part of the party before the party starts then join the whatsapp group the pilgrimage is going wonderfully tens of thousands of people being blessed if you didn't join it yet it's still time just jump in and there's a little place where you can sign up there it's just a click one click and you're in and you get the materials and you catch up with the others godspeed everybody god bless you today good night to all those who are falling asleep in the west americas see you later